What is going on people? It is your boy Daddy Mac and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. We're actually bringing a brand new team here. We're against my boy Slagathor again. Um, and I don't know why I was really nervous on that first Wi-Fi battle. So my nerves have chilled since I battled him last time. And if you haven't watched that video, check it out. Go back to the playlist and check it out. But this time we're bringing a brand new team. We're bringing Glaceon with the choice specs, baby. We got the Azumarill. Choice Band and Azumarill. He probably knows this as Choice Band because I used an Azumarill, not this one, on my previous Wi-Fi battle um, with him. Not the one that was recorded, but this is the third Wi-Fi battle I've had with him. Um, it would be kind of cool to record a best of three or a best of five. That would be cool. But we got the Chandelure, Lucario, Dragonite, and Slurpuff. You can see the items there, but I need to choose my Pokemon quick. Really cool team. Um, Pokemon that stand out is going to be the Blaziken. Love the fact that he's bringing in uh, Stoutland. And a Trevenant, and I'm gonna start off with the Slurpuff, and there's a biggest, there's a big reason why. So I got the choice, uh, the Focus Sash on my Slurpuff for one reason and one reason only. My team is a little bit slow, obviously, but with my Slurpuff, I have a Focus Sash, and he's gonna be my suicide lead, so that I can actually bring her in, and then set up my Sticky Web, live an attack, and. Um, I don't know, hit it, miss the, miss the explosion. So, very cool Slurpuff that I'm gonna be bringing in, in my opinion. Now, the only problem that we have with this team that my opponent is bringing is that he does have the Corviknight. And Corviknight is best well known for the, um, for the, what's it called? I'm forgetting. Defog. I was using a <laughs> Corviknight last battle. I can't believe I forgot. Beautiful. He protects, and I'm okay with that. So, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the Sticky Web here. Oh, I, I, this is the first time I've used this type of Slurpuff. Um, obviously, if you guys haven't watched before, the last Slurpuff I used was not that good. Not not very good. Okay, so I feel really comfortable yawning here. Kind of forcing a switch, especially with the Sword Dance. That is, uh, that's brutal. That's brutal. I'm going to predict a Flare Blitz in just a moment. Check this out, boys. You guys are going to love me for this. Because obviously his only bet is to go for the Flare Blitz. And um, you know who's the best check for Blaziken? It's actually Chandelure. Chandelure. And you know why? Because number one, we're immune to the fire type attack. And number two, we're immune to the fighting type. So I feel really good just going into the Chandelure here. And even then, let's say um, we kind of put him in a tight spot. Because he's going to go Corviknight here. Trevenant. Even then, that's a lot. That's better. That's even better. He has no fire immunity. Um, he has very little resistance to um, to fire from what I saw earlier. Uh, reveals my focus sash. Frisk is a very underrated ability um, because of that reason. So he kind of knows what I'm running right now. And I'm going to switch out to the Chandelure. And we're obviously going to wreck havoc on the scene with the exception of Slowbro. Now, um... I got a couple options here. I can go for the Heat Wave. The only problem is that his uh, Slowbro kind of walls me. And I don't really have an answer for the Slowbro. Other than, um, yeah, well, I got nothing for that. What? Well, um, I forgot to give him a, uh, another move, didn't I? Regardless, we got Glaceon for the Slowbro. <laughs> I, I forgot. I forgot. I'm, I forgot to run Blizzard. Blizzard. Blizzard was going to be my last move on <laughs> Why? Why do I always do this to myself? I always manage to sabotage my, my game plan. But we're just going to play it safe. We're going to Heat Wave. Obviously, the last time we played a little bit aggressive, it didn't work. So Umbreon's going to come in, which is fine by me. We're going to go ahead and hit, and hit the, the... What is it? Heat Wave? I don't even remember what I'm running anymore. Yeah, Heat Wave. And we, of course, we miss. Just my plain old luck. That's it. So, um... What scares me about the Umbreon is actually nothing because I can go out into the Lucario. I also brought that within our first Wi Fi battle, by the way. We are justified, so if you do hit me with the fighting type attack, you're gonna cry a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm gonna go out Lucario here. You're gonna hit me. Oh, that is cool. That is cool. I don't mind staying in with Lucario if I'm being honest with you. I feel really, really comfortable going for a close combat. And I'm hoping I can get rid of this thing out. He's probably going to protect. I understand that. I understand that that's a strong possibility. But I was hoping he would switch out. And Trevenant comes out. So very good play by my opponent predicting the fighting type attack. I should have predicted that myself. 
Um, but he's gonna go ahead and come into the Trevenant. He's gonna reveal my life orb. Um, last time we battled, or not, I keep saying last time, but the first time we battled, I revealed a special Lucario. This obviously is going to be a physical. Now, um, I really don't mind staying in against the Trevenant. I was really hoping my opponent would go in for the, for the foul play or something like that. Leech Seed happens, and obviously that's not good for us. Because now we're put on a timer. And uh, Lucario is going to be valuable to my team. And the biggest reason behind that is because I got no answer to Umbreon. Other than, of course, the, um, the my fairy Pokemon, uh, which I'm forgetting its name right now. Um, but I think what I feel comfortable going with right now is going out into the Glaceon. Because you can hit me with a Horn Leech if you want. I feel comfortable hitting the Ice Type Attack, specifically Freeze Dry. Because uh, that's the only Ice Type Attack I have other than... I, I was wanting to bring in a... Um, <laughs> I, I was hoping to bring in the... What is that move? A Blizzard. My opponent just got all that. I, I, oh! That is a lot. That did a little too much. Um, I'm going to predict the Blaziken here. Bring in that Blaziken. I dare you. Please bring it in. I know you want to bring in the Blaziken. I know you do. Come on. Bring him in. Bring in Umbreon. Oh, man. That sucks for me. That sucks for me. I tried to make a read, and he made me pay for it. So here comes a Water Pulse. Confuse it? No? Okay. That's fine. We don't gotta confuse. Umbreon's good. He's smarter than being confused. So, um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go out into the Lucario again. He's probably gonna yawn, A. B, um, maybe he's running Wish. Or C, he's going to foul play or protect. He's gonna Wish. Okay. That's what I thought. And I'm actually comfortable with that. Now, what I want to do here, I kind of want to play it smart on him. So, the last time he, um, I brought in a Lucario against the Umbreon, he went into the Trevenant. And I understand that he might go into the Trevenant again, but I really want a Sword Dance here. I want to do some type of damage. Wake up, Lucario, please. Wake up, Lucario. He withdraws. He's probably going to... No, nothing has taken damage in all reality. Slowbro comes out. Um, obviously, this is something that walls us, and we do not want to stay in against a slow bro. We don't want to go into the Sondalur either, and um, we do wake up, which is good news. But, 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 um, I don't have the dark, I don't have any, wow, I, this thing walls me. Okay, what are we going to do here? What are we going to do here? Um... I want to go out into the Glaceon, to be honest. Oh, the Glaceon is a frail Pokemon. It has good special defense. I'm hoping I can take a, a, a Scald or a Psychic pretty well. Specifically a Scald. But we will see. Scald? Oh, that's a little too much. That's a little too much. We're going to freeze right here. I can't believe I brought in three moves, guys. That's annoying. Choice Scarf. Freeze dry. Please do the trick. If not, bring in the Trevenant in. I don't know, bring, bring something in. That's not Umbreon or Blaziken. He's gonna bring in the Umbreon though. I already know how this is playing. Yep. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Now we outspeed the Umbreon, which is good news. But now he knows I'm locked into Freeze Dry and I reveal that I have the Freeze Dry and that does nothing. What? This music is making me more nervous than I should be. In all reality, it's making me really nervous for no reason. Um, honestly, I'm going to come out into Slurpuff. If he switches, I'm going to yawn. Slurpuff did its job, if I'm being quite honest with you. Slurpuff did a really good job. Foul play does come out, and I kind of predicted that. So, breaks my sash. He obviously knows I'm sashed. And I feel really comfortable yawning right now. I really do. I really, really do. We're gonna... Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button. Please don't go out into the Corviknight. Please. I misclicked. I misclicked, and I can't believe I... Some of you guys are probably laughing at me and aren't taking me serious right now. Yawn was the play. And Trevenant comes out, who's fucking... He's, he's gonna freaking wall me. <laughs> 
That's how frustrated I am. He's reading me like a book. So here comes my focus dash. Unfortunately, I get rid of my slurp puff. Dude, knock it out. At least knock it out. No. What a waste, man. I'm so mad. At I thought Yon was at the bottom. I really did. I really did. I'm frustrated. I'm flustered. <laughs> I'm really flustered right now. Trevenant is on the field to play. Um... I'm baffled. I'm baffled. I want to say Sean Delore is the play, but then he has the slow poke or the slow bro on the back. I can I can go ahead and shadow ball here, and I need Sean Delore for the Blaziken. I really do. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and shadow ball here, predicting the slow bro, given that I went for the fire type attack last time. I'm really hoping we knock this thing out. We have 145 special attack. Dynamaxes. Okay. I forget we're playing Dynamax, and I should play that to my advantage. Just like he is his. I typically don't like to Dynamax first, though, because if I Dynamax first, my that gives my opponent a chance to play around it. So he's probably gonna Poultry Guys here, and that's gonna knock out my Chandelure. And that's a that's a knockout I cannot afford. Man, I wish I was Specs right now. Max Phantasm. Yup, there goes Sandalore. So that leaves us with one more play. Um, that was my answer to Blaziken. And I think what we're going to do right now, I almost, I really want to go out into the um, Dragonite, but I cannot, I cannot, I need Dragonite. I really need the Dragonite. Um, I mean, I can go out into the Glaceon, and Glaceon will knock out the Trevenant. Given that we're specs, we outspeed because of the Sticky Web. Um, I really need to use Sticky Web to my advantage also. So we're just going to go ahead and freeze right here, given that it's super effective, and I'm hoping he switches. Um, my Dynamax Pokemon is going to have to be the Dragonite if I want a chance to win, either that or Lucario. And he's putting me in a similar spot where, where um, to where I was with our second Wi-Fi battle, which is the one you guys watched um, last week. But even then, I'm, I'm struggling right now because he's picking off my uh, my attackers one by one and it did not help the the fact that I misclicked earlier does not help and he lives somehow He lives somehow which is a little bit annoying <laughs> But I should have expected that because I've used Trevenant myself and I know Trevenant is known for a very good special defense and it's real it's really that's what it excels at is a special defense. I'm just not thinking before I'm playing and it's 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 biting me in the butt So now this gives us a chance to um, This gives us a chance to Dynamax and honestly what I can do here. I can afford to go for the um, Dragon dance But I feel really comfortable just going Lucario and I don't I, I really don't know what I'm doing with myself <laughs> I really don't. I really don't. I'm gonna go meteor match. Hope for it an attack boost. Slowbro's gonna wall us. Slowbro's gonna wall us. I can I can foresee that happening. He has to identify that Slowbro at this point is his wooden con. Because my answer to Slowbro, which was. Um, Glaceon is gone. I don't know why it was gonna be a bulkier Pokemon, but it has like 65 HP or something like that. It's something pitiful. Um, here comes the Blaziken. I don't mind the Blaziken so much, if I'm being honest with you. Um, I'm gonna predict either. He's gonna protect. He's gonna protect here. He's gonna protect. Um, my best bet is go to the Zoomeral. He's gonna either predict or go for the high jump kick or flare blitz. Maybe he can't Brave Bird right now. It's not within his best interest of Brave Bird. And I do have the Aqua Jet, and that's why I'm going to the Azumarill. Okay. Very good play by my opponent. Going for the Sword Dance. Now, I need Azumarill as my only answer to Blaziken now. So I'm just going to Aqua Jet. Protect. He's going to go on to the Slowbro next. 
and I have to capitalize on that. The only problem is I got nothing, 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 nothing for that, um, for that slow bro. I gotta play it safe in Aqua Jet though. I, I can't afford to switch. Choice ban, this is gonna knock it out. Please don't be sashed though. It's sashed. It's sashed. That's huge. That's awesome. The fact that he's running reversal is lit. Oh man, that is sick. That's frustrating though. That is sick. You know what I'm gonna have to do? Um, I got the extreme speed on Lucario and I got extreme speed on Dragonite. I just gotta pick my poison at this point and I think the poison has to be Dragonite because um, I just have to. I just have to. We're gonna extreme speed here. We do have Fire Punch for the Corviknight. So if Corviknight wants to try something funny, it definitely can, I don't mind it. Now, um, I think what I'm gonna do for the next Wi-Fi battle is switch the Fire Punch to Thunder Punch because I just realized I have no answers for water types. The reason I was packing the Fire Punch is because I was thinking of Ferrothorn and uh, Ferrothorn's a really annoying Pokemon to me, but I have multiple answers to Ferrothorn and I don't know why I've never really bothered. So um, my opponent is going to go to the Southland, and I got a good feeling that he's going to hit me with the Stone Edge, which gives me, oh no, which gives me the opportunity to go out into nothing. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to go out into the Lucario here. Dragonite at this point has to be my win con. Um, burying his Scalds, I just, if my opponent Scalds, then we're done. But look, um, it's going to be in, in between these two. That's good for us. That's very good for us. Is this is choice band. I'm gonna go swords dance here, predicting the Lucar, um, the slow bro in. He's been putting me in really tight spots, and his team is awesome. His team building skills are really sick. Who would have thought? I, I bet none of the viewers would have thought reversal was gonna be a thing. If I'm being quite honest with you guys, so he's gonna go out into the Corviknight. That's that's okay with me. That is okay with me. This gives me a chance to go for the sword stance. Um, sure, my opponent can probably body press, but I got answers for his um, remaining Pokemon with um, with the Dragonite. I can probably sweep with the Dragonite if I if I play this um, to how I need to play this. So we're gonna close combat here, and it knocks. Why? That's multiple times already where my opponent just lives it. That is insanity to me. That's just crazy. That is for real crazy to me. Now, um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set up a Dragon Dance. I gotta set up the Dragon Dance. I have to get at least a plus one to guarantee a sweep, some kind of sweep. So I'm gonna go ahead and Dragon Dance here. I'm not gonna Dynamax until the Stoutland comes in. Or, yeah, Dynamax. Did I say Dynamax or did I say Dragon Dance? Okay. So we're going to go ahead and Dragon Dance here. He's going to go for the Roost. Please go for the Roost. Brave Bird. He's going to knock himself out. And that's fine by me. That is literally fine by me. Damage is itself with the Recoil. And Stoutland is a huge problem. I kid you not. I'm going to have to Dynamax. I'm going to have to Protect. And I'm going to have to find a way to knock the Stoutland out. Very, very huge liability. I don't like Stoutland. Stoutland is his win con at this point. It's, it's I, because the intimid I never thought of that. I've, I've never really bothered to think about <laughs> an Intimidate Stoutland putting holes on my, on my team. It's kind of like Taurus. If you guys remember on that Wi-Fi battle what I brought in a Taurus, Intimidate can be a very good ability. Especially with the retaliate, it reminds me. Of, it really reminds me of the Taurus that I brought in. He's gonna go for the retaliate and try to get the knockout. But I absolutely have to go for the um, max guard here. Oh, I thought he was gonna. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna max whirlwind here. I do outspeed, and hopefully that's enough to trigger my weakness policy. If he goes for the play rough, of course. Please trigger my weakness policy. I know you want to trigger it. 
play rough. We live, we live, we live. Yes! Okay, we have a really good chance at coming back. Really, really good chance. Okay. We're gonna max Wormwind again. Oh, that max Wormwind came in clutch. He's gonna have to switch out. I already know, he's gonna have to switch out. Okay, it doesn't switch. I would have switched out and come back to Intimidate. Because this actually puts me in a good spot to sweep. Oh boy. Am I nervous. I'm really nervous right now. Okay. Alright, slow bro. Sorry, hit the mic. So I gotta make a choice quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh, these animations are not helping right now. Why is the battle timer 30 minutes? <laughs> Serious question. We're gonna Dragon Claw here. We have to Dragon Claw. We're at a plus two. Knockout, knockout, knockout. Half? Not even half. Psychic comes in play. Oh my goodness, that is close. My opponent got the victory though, didn't he? Oh no. He got the victory. Bravo! Bravo! Knockout. No! And he goes psychic again. And he, he beats us. This loss hurts a little bit. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. That was amazing, though. I'm not complaining. Slagathor, I'm gonna take your Lee card because the battles were definitely memorable. That's sick. I'm a little salty, especially because I brought in a um, Glaceon with only three moves. But it is what it is. It's your boy, Daddy Mac. I'll see you guys next time.